Hi, today's question is which of the following is a test cross? And we have four different answers that you may choose from. Uh, I hope you would be able to choose the correct answer. And if you know, don't know how to solve this problem, here is my explanation. Imagine that we have a tall plant that looks like this. And uh, its genetics can be... Uh, capital A, capital A for the tallness, or also the same uh, tall plant can be produced by heterozygous plant, that would be capital A and small a. So usually when we don't know what is the genetics of the plant, we uh, use capital A and blank space for the second uh, uh, allele, because we don't know. Uh, for sure, uh, what is the uh, genetic composition of the plant. So in order to find out uh, uh, what is here, we need to use a test cross. And for the test cross, we use uh, hetero, uh, homozygous uh, recessive plant. So what uh, outcomes can be? For example, if we have... Uh, this, uh, say, parent 1 plant. Uh, so this is going to be parent 1 plant here. And if it is going to be double dominant, and we cross it with test cross, that is, um, would be parent 2, and would be homozygous recessive, uh, outcomes going to be uh, all the plants should look the same because uh, all of them would have same genetic composition. Uh, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here. And what we are going to get if we use as parent one uh, heterozygous plant that is going to be uh, capital A and small a, and plant uh, 2 would be uh, homozygous recessive once again, but outcomes would be different this time, and this time we would have capital A, small a here, capital A, small a here, small a, small a here, and small a, small a here. So as you see, here we have 50% uh, small plants and 50% would be tall plants. So this is a uh, one to one ratio. Uh, or we also can say 50% uh, to 50%. So 50% would be tall plants and 50% uh, would be uh, our F1 generation uh, small plants. And here uh, at the first example, all 100% of the plants would be tall. So this is how we can find uh, genetic composition of the unknown plant, if it is uh, homozygous for this particular trait or if it is heterozygous. So uh, the only correct answer here would be D. So we have to cross... Uh, inbreed homozygous plant. Here uh, example is for two traits and I give you example for one trait but uh, this is the same. And um, we cross it with uh, heterozygous or we also can uh, express it as capital A blank and capital B blank. This is what we want to find. If it is um, we can put capital A or small a here, or capital B and small b here. So we have to find what we have to put. So in order to solve this problem, we have to cross it with uh, double uh, homozygous recessive. So I think this explanation will clear to you. Now you know how to solve uh, analogous problems. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. Goodbye.